Hey, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem Rakakadash. Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Jehovah, and Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth. The rest would like to do so. It's going to be a quick video. I love when the video is edifying. I love when the Akim get something from this video. Hey, basically what this is going to be about, man, is uh, don't let the incredulity of people, right, knock you off, okay? Don't let it trouble you, okay? Because scriptures tell you, right, at the latter end, you're going to have people walking after their own lust, right? So it should really build your faith when you hear people, you know, um, when you hear people trying to bash this, you know what I mean, or try to make fun of this, right? Because that's prophecy, right? It's prophecy. Like, you, you know, people, they don't understand what it is. They don't understand what's going on. Only thing they understand is what's been given to them by their enemy. You know, so really, we're going to get the last laugh, okay? We're going to get the last laugh. You know, these people, uh, you know, they point fingers. They, you know, make all kind of jokes, you know, oh, they wear dresses, they this, they that, they that, blase, blase, right? But all that, you know, all that shit, everything you say, right, you, you know, you will have to take an account for, okay? And, you know, Mark 9 and 42 tells you, you know what I mean? You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you shouldn't offend the little ones that believe in Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah, so Yahweh, while Yahweh Shah is nothing to play with, you know, and, and, their men, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, are nothing to play with as well, okay? Because, you know, we're the illuminated ones walking in, the, in this darkness. We have the truth, okay? The world don't got the truth. The world is under, you know, the, the spell of the motherfucking, you know, heathen that rule it, you know? The world is wicked. You know, if the kings are wicked, the people are going to be wicked. Right, and the kings of this world indeed are the heathen, right? That top heathen, which is Esau, right? He's the king of America, but America is the how can I call it? The America, America is like the the broadcast for the world, okay? Because the world mimics America, you know. If America is being overly wicked, then the world, other uh, countries are going to be overly wicked. Or going to indulge in wickedness, right? You know, you kind of seeing that now. I mean, you saw it over the years. You know, you had places where there was a little bit of order, right? A little bit of order, like you know, Middle East and things of that nature. Which, you know, I I wouldn't even call it order, but you know, for example, like you had women covered up. Now you ain't, you know, come on, man. Them, them women, some of the women ain't, they, you know, some of the women are known harlots now. You know what I mean? You know, where do you think they get that from? They get that from America, right? Because there's nothing but, you know, uh, um, you know, harlot promotion, whether it's in the music, whether it's, you know, you see your everyday woman, whether it's, you know, you hear it in, um, or you see it in movies, you see it in music videos, right? Every other music video, you, you know, these bitches is walking around naked selling pussy, right? You know what I mean? And, and, it's very it's it's uh it's it's being made popular. So guess what? If it's being made popular here, other countries are gonna do it in their country. And if they can't do it in their country, they're gonna come down here and do it here. And I actually ran into women who who's actually who who actually has done this. Okay? So I'm not telling you nothing I don't know. You know, but without further ado, let's get into the scriptures, man. Um because scriptures tell you, man, don't let the disbelief, you know, trouble you. You know, fuck them. They can't get it, fuck them. It ain't meant for them. We should just be happy that we got it. It's the second edge is 15 and 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people with the words of prophecy, which indeed we are speaking to the ears of, of the Lord's people, the words of prophecy, which is coming out of this book. Okay? Which is coming out of the Bible. Okay? Because we're instructed to do so. Right? Scriptures say, Go to the chief place of concourse. Your chief place of concourse is what you make you the uh, people you know where people dwell at in a city, which would be like your your downtown areas, right where the majority of people are at. See, you know, 
we're not tucked away in no building. You know, we're out there for everybody to see. But with us being out there for everybody to see, you know, you got people who gonna call us names. You got people who gonna bash bash us. You got people who gonna come by and try to fuck with us and all that. But it's okay. Okay, but it's okay because at the end of the day, the Lord will get the last. The Lord and the joint heirs will get the last laugh. Okay, period. It says, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. See, the Lord is putting the scriptures and prophecy in our mouth. Okay, this is not us. You know, this is not us. This is not. Scripture said the Lord directed the man's steps, man. You know, this is not us. This is this is the Lord speaking through brothers. Okay, warning, warning uh, the people before destruction come because when we're not out there anymore, then you know those who wouldn't bid to the marriage they ask is grass. Case okay, two it says. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true, which the Lord words is faithful and true. He's not a man that he should lie. Okay? And that's why we believe this wholeheartedly, period. Three, it says, this is, which is my point. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Right? Don't fear the imaginations against, we don't fear the imaginations against us. Okay? We're not supposed to. It says, let not the incredul incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, right? So don't let the incredulity of people, because you're going to have that. You're going to run into that, right? You're going to run into that, man. It says, don't let that trouble you, okay? And, and even if they speak against us, don't let it trouble you. Fuck them. You know what I mean? Forget them, period, man. You know? And matter of fact, I, I looked up the word before I did this video, um, man, because I just had woke up. I'm like, man, I need to do a video, Um on um, this incredulity, you know, because I had a situation that happened to me yesterday where, you know, I, um, you know, people were showing people who knew what I did or knew what I not did, but know what I do um, and know what I believe in. They showed their incredulity towards it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and make a video, you know, um, just in case any other brothers, is, you know, might have been through it or going through it. This is the word incredulity. It's the Google definition of the word. It says a state of being unwilling, unwilling or unable to believe something. I'll write it back. It says the state of being unwilling or unable to believe something. Okay. And then when you go to similar, it says, well, it's like it. it says uh, disbelief, incredulousness. Right, let me keep going. It says lack of belief, unbelief, lack of credence, doubt, doubtfulness. Um, says uh, distrust, mistrust, um, questioning, weariness, um, lack of trust. Right, and really, this is why you know you should you should have faith in the Lord Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Okay, Yahweh being the Father, the Son being Yahweh Shai, because. If you don't have faith, this is kind of what you're showing, right? Mistrust, mis mistrust, distrust, right? Uh, weariness, right? Suspicion, doubt, unbelief, disbelief. Scriptures tell you it's impossible to please the Most High without faith. Okay? So let me run that back. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. That speak against thee, for all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. So yeah, all the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness. Okay, it says, "Behold," said the Lord, "I will bring plagues upon the world." And when the Lord does bring pl plagues upon the world, then you know you'll see the increase of, you know, the increase of people worrying and looking for answers when really the answer has been out here for all these years before destruction has came. <laughs> You know, yeah, it says, behold, the Lord back in five it says, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world to swore famine, death and destruction. Uh huh. It says for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. So wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And indeed, scriptures don't lie, man. Scriptures don't lie. You know, look, you, you man, you go outside, you see nothing but wickedness. Right, you put turn the you ain't got to go to a other country to see that the other country is wicked. <laughs> you know what I mean? You turn on your TV, man. 
and, and, or get on your social media platforms and see what the fuck going on. Okay, it says, therefore, say to the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Indeed, right, and and you have an example to, example of that, right? Scriptures say that a lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, right, brothers. We we had that same spirit as well. Okay, we had the same spirit as well, man. You know and. You know, only the elect and one third would be, you know, upset or or mad or, um, you know, irritated about the things or complain about the things that's currently going on in the society. You know, I mean, you got two thirds of Jake who complain too, but the difference between two thirds of Jake's and one third of the elect is that the one third elect shows shows they're showing that they want to get out of here. They're showing their faith. You know, low alone part of part of that number. You know. Showing our faith, man. We showing our faith by doing this work, okay. So therefore, in the time when it end, when it come, because it will come, we have some type of uh, works, man. So therefore, we can be. Hopefully, we can be saved. Hopefully, okay. It says, uh, it's nine. It says, and therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, right? And that land of Egypt is talking about America. It's not talking about ancient Egypt, okay? It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plagues. So it says it's going to smite Egypt with plagues, right? Remember, ancient Egypt was already, it was, it was smit with plagues, right? It says, As before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Now look, so you know the difference. Was ancient Egypt destroyed? Is the land over there destroyed? No. You still got people who dwell in that land over there. This is 12. It says Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. So it says Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues. Okay? When the Lord bring the, bring the plague up, upon it. Okay? When he brings his beast of destruction, which is what? Thermonuclear missiles. Okay? It says, They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blasting in hell, and with a fearful constellation. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Exactly, man. So, woe to the world, you know, and them that dwell therein when all hell breaks loose. And, you know, if you read down 15, which I'm not going to do, um, which, well, matter of fact, I'll grab this. To 20, I grab 21 and I close it out, but I encourage brothers to read 15 and 16. Um, you know, just to just to kind of get what's really gonna go on, man. And you're gonna see a lot of humbleness in people when all hell starts to break loose. You know, see, we understand that nothing really happening right now. Sure, you know, gas prices are through the roof and school shootings are happening, and you hear this shit with Russia and Ukraine, and yeah, you know, it's all tolerable though. Right, it's tolerable for for people, right, for the world because the world is not bugging out yet. But when the world bugs out, when more things start to happen, right, when it's you know martial law and when it's you know famine and when it's uh, you know no more food in grocery stores and you see these people start to panic and bug out, then motherfuckers are gonna be looking for answers, right? But by that time, man, we'll be off the street, okay. This is like Ezra 15, 21. It says, like as they do not do yet this day until my chosen. Right. Like as you guys do yet to the chosen, to the Lord's chosen. It says, so will I do also in recompense in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, my right hand should not spare the sinners, and my sword should not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. So the Lord is going to repay back um, uh, our, our enemies, man. You know, the Lord is going to see who could who could stand when the Lord when the Lord comes, man. No one. You know the scripture said the mountains. Roughly, I believe it says the mountains tremble at him. Okay, okay, and this is our power. You know what I mean? So, hey, you know it's only a, a small percentage of us who have the word and who have the truth, 
And that's okay. That's okay, man. That's okay. Right? Because what we're saying is going to come to pass. Which is what the Lord is, you know, putting in our mouths to say is going to come to pass. Because the Lord is not a man that he should lie. Okay? And if all the ancient um, kingdoms and all the ancient rulerships has went down and the scriptures told you how they were going to go down and they went down that way, why would it be any different for America when we're telling you how America is going to go down? Okay? Just something to think about. So with that, man, low oil in the videos, edifying low in the acumen. Got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing. On to the next, Shalom.